Facebook. Hello, welcome to Floral Friday. Lovely to be back with you, back home here down in the West Country and lots to share. I was just telling the guys on Instagram that I'm going to be joined by Simon Lysett. Oh, he's such a lovely man, isn't he? And we love his flowers. And I know he's been super busy this week because it should have been Chelsea Flower Show. I don't know if any of you have been watching the RHS website for all their behind the scenes films. They've been behind the scenes with the farmers and growers all over Britain. It's been really lovely to see. So that actually has been an unexpected treat from this whole situation we find ourselves in. So I'm going to be going to Simon in about five minutes or so, but there's just a few bits of news that I wanted to share with you first. Um, talking about my magazines, now many of you may have joined me for my lives that I did on, on Wednesday, Wellbeing Wednesday, and I was just so especially pleased on a Wednesday to be back in my Wellbeing studios for the first time in I don't know, nine weeks or something. I had a few issues that I needed to get back and sort out there. So it was just me on my own. And lovely to be back and be surrounded by all my magazines. If you saw, if you haven't seen that one, if you flick on, it's saved on Facebook and it's saved on Instagram TV. So I counted them up when I was there, actually. There were 24. We've had 24 issues of the magazine so far. And which is quite a lot when you consider we started as a quarterly and so we only were doing four a year and then kind of by popular demand, we've gone to bi-monthly. So now there are six a year. And while I was there, I had a good old ferret around and I was turning out cupboards and, you know, doing all the kind of stuff that we've all been doing at home. And I found some treats. Yes, I found boxes of the original magazines, the very first issues. So lovely. Honestly, it was by being reunited with old friends because, as you probably know, if you get the magazine anyway we take huge pride in the way that we put it together we love our printing we print on really good quality paper so it's like a book and I know many of you have, have written to me or sent comments and photos of your Lizard Wellbeing shelf at home or your little section of the bookcase where you might have some books and all the magazines that you can keep and you can tell the different issues by the coloured spines and it was just so lovely to go back to them because they're all packed with recipes and crafts and health information and beauty information. And of course, that doesn't date. It doesn't go out of date. You know, making the most amazing cherry trifle or whatever it is, is, is going to be with us forever, um, hopefully. So just to be reunited was great. So basically, I loaded up the back of the car yesterday with as much as I could possibly stack into it. So I do have some very special bundles. If I can get my boys to work really hard, they're like my wrappers and packers at the moment, um, putting together various bundles. And what I'm doing at the moment, just as a little kind of extra gift, is I'm doing an extra one free. So I'm putting them in packs of four. Um, so you, you buy three and then you get an extra one um, for free. And I am personally <laughs> wrapping them and taking them to the post office. So bear with me, they will come and go on the website because we're only able to do them in small amounts depending on what we've got. So we're putting together almost as we go. So keep checking the website because there will be new versions that come all the time. And, you know, potentially you can build up an entire set I don't know if we've quite got every single one, but we've got pretty near it. Um, some of them might be duplicates for you, but you can always share them. You know, they're such lovely things to share and pass on to friends. So anyway, I hope you like that. So that was the first bit of news. The second bit, and this is something that you really don't want to miss out on because it's completely free. Love those words, don't we? Completely free. This is an organisation that you may have come across called Readly. And they basically put magazines online. So they're digital magazines. And we have recently linked up with Readly. So you can now get lots and lots of back issues and the current issue as well. We're working with them going forward. So you can subscribe to Readly and you get um, Lizard Wellbeing magazine. And not only that, you get access to virtually every magazine in the world. It's astonishing. It's something like, I don't know, 20,000 magazines. It's really, it's an incredible thing. And I just wanted to share it with you because they're doing, if you sign up now, you get a month's free subscription. So right now, when we're all perhaps got a bit more chance to read some magazines and to explore, let's take a look at Australian Vogue or let's, you know, look at Gardener's World or whatever it is. And of course, Lizard Wellbeing, um, you can have a month 
free to try it out. It's normally seven ninety nine a month, and that gives you access to, as I say, virtually every magazine in the entire world, which I think is incredible. Thanks, Amy. You've popped a little link on Facebook and Instagram, guys. There'll be a link on my link tree if you after this, just click on link tree, and you'll get taken straight there. Or you can go to Liz Our Wellbeing, um, and if you uh, just scroll down the shop section where it says digital magazine, because obviously it's digital, click on there. That takes you to Readly, and it'll give you that month free. So you can, you know, read at your leisure. And it, it really is astonishing. I was doing it yesterday and I was looking, I was obviously making sure that all the Liz Our Wellbeing magazines were there and there's lots of back issues there as well. But, you know, it just means that wherever you are, wherever you're listening to me in the world, and I know we have viewers and readers globally, you can just go on to readly.com and download all this stuff. Read it. Isn't that amazing? So anyway, enough about that. I know that Simon has got connectivity and is waiting for a chat. So um, let's go to Simon. Then I'm going to come back with some more well-being news. So let us see. Oh, come on, phone. You can do it. I know you can. Uh, lots of lovely comments and chats coming on here. Uh, oh, being a member of Readly for a while. Love it. That's great. Great testimonial. Okay, let's add Simon. Waiting for Simon Lysat. And let's see where he is, because I've got a question for him, actually. Hi, lovely man. Hello, how are you? I'm extremely well. How are you and where are you? <laughs> I'm having such a fun time. I'm working down at West End Flower Farm in Hampshire, wow. where I'm actually in one of their little polytunnels. So behind me, look at the ammy that's growing. So what look. is ammy? So I'm going to describe this for our Facebook friends. You're, you're surrounded by kind of a white cloud of fluffy white flowers. <laughs> so it's, I always call it posh cow parsley. Yeah. So it's a lovely, lovely version that you can grow in your own gardens it's a little bit stronger and it's great it stands up in water beautifully and it's just it's called ami a a m i a w m i ami visnaga v i s n a g e r gosh ami visnaga it's very beautiful i could imagine that would flower arrange really well look at it it's like clouds of cow parsley gorgeous and then next door i've got pops of orange and of yellow calendula's magical marigold. Mm. Ma do you know? Well, I know calendula because of its skin soothing properties, and you can steep the petals in boiled water and just make a really lovely skin skin wash. Oh, Liz, I'm going to do what? So literally, like making a pot of tea from the petals. Exactly, the like 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 a, a lovely cool tisane. Exactly, it's really good for sensitive skin. And, you know, just any, I mean, they use it. Tincture of calendula is used in ointments and that kind of thing by naturopaths and homeopaths. I'm going to give that a whirl, definitely. You'll, you'll be a new man when I see you next. Gosh, I could do with it at the moment. The lockdown diet and regime is brilliant. Oh, let's not go there. Let's let's no. not go. Let's not talk muffin look top. At, here as well is, look at this. I know your sweet peas are flowering. Yeah, I've got my sweet peas. Look at these. Gorgeous. Really, really lovely. Now, tell me about how are the British flower growers doing? Because obviously they've not had real Chelsea Flower Show. They've not had all their events and their weddings. How are they coping? Well, what's ironic is that this time of the year, it's when they start to really have amazing things available. So what I suggest to anybody and everybody who wants to have a bunch of flowers is to log on to the at flowers from the farm website or their insta feed and you can look and find a nice local-ish flower farm such as west end here they're not open every day so just check on people's websites and see when they Brilliant. are open and then you can go along and nothing could be fresher it's a lovely yeah. place to be i'm in the air i've got all yeah. these gorgeous flowers around me i've now come into the other hot house where the orlea is the polytunnel Scented pelagoniums and orlea, Liz. You're a nice Gorgeous. Yellow. I've got mine here. I've got my scented pelagoniums right behind me. I love them. <laughs> so so do, do you actually go to visit or do they send out boxes? So you can come on, at the moment they're only open Fridays and Saturdays and they are only at the moment selling locally, but a lot of flower farms are now sending out boxes. Mm, yeah. It makes a great gift if you're wanting to send yeah. flowers or just... 
a little bit of self-love, and I think we all need a, a little box of well-being delivered to us. Oh, moment, don't, we? don't we just? Can you help me with this one? Because I'm really keen to support my local florist because I know that they've been really badly hit with with business. So I now have a weekly delivery, which is lovely. But I've obviously got lots of lovely things in the garden as well, like peonies, which are coming in, which are just about to burst. I'm so excited. So I'm kind of doing a bit of mix and match. And this one came um, from my florist, and it's so pretty, but I'm not sure what it is. It's an astilbe, A-S-T-I-L-B-E, astilbe. Astilbe, it's so beautiful, it's like a little pink cloud. <laughs> Aren't they heavenly? It's related to meadow sweet, which is that lovely, you know as well, you know very well meadow sweet, that yes. gorgeous, that almost smells like an elderflower. Yeah. Astilbe, very beautiful, they like to grow in a garden, a little sort of slightly shady area, mm -hmm. but they're a great thing for the garden. Yeah, yeah, oh lovely, um, and people on Instagram and um uh, Facebook here are actually writing down the names for other people, which is so lovely. I've got such a lovely community here. Everyone's so friendly and, and answering questions because I can't type and talk at the same time. <laughs> I don't think I ever can. Got, so in the background here, this is another flower that's lovely to grow in your garden. So this one's called Orlea. So O R L A Y A. Orlea. That's pretty. That's a lovely sort of white flower with a, a, a single stem. That looks as if that would last in water too. It lasts really well and it grows relatively easily. Um, all of these things are the sort of things that pretty much, if anybody wanted to, they could still be sowing some seeds for themselves and growing themselves a little pot of something gorgeous. Fantastic. And has it been a good week for you? Have you been involved in sort of the, the virtual Chelsea? I have. So if anybody wants to take a look at what's been going on, if they pop over to the RHS website, there's a click, you can go forward slash um, virtual Chelsea, and there's a whole drop down menu right from Monday through to Saturday. I was on on Monday, my little film. That I, I saw made. you. Great. Um, and it's been a really, I, th I mean, have you loved it, Liz? It's been quite nice to do a different Chelsea for a change. It's a different Chelsea. I mean, I hope we get back to the real one next year. But, you know, I love going to Wales, for example. There was that lovely man um, showing us how to grow gl gladioli in, in pots. I love that. And it's been uh, the most extraordinary weather for any of us that have a garden or outdoor space in the UK. The weather has been incredible. Mm. Um, and I think that to have had the opportunity to, to look at some of the garden designers' own gardens is yeah. something you would never have ordinarily had. So it's an amazing asset that's been created. Um, how have you felt it's been this week, Liz? Great. I mean, I've been up in London. Um, I went to my studios for the first time in nine weeks, and it was lovely. And I was back in my little studio garden and uh, trying to revive my herbs and things that, that needed a bit of TLC. But uh, I just have really enjoyed connecting online in a different way. And I actually watched some of the BBC coverage yesterday. I went on to BBC iPlayer last, uh, yesterday afternoon. I came back and um, we had just had tea together. And we had tea and, and cake and, and watched a bit of Chelsea Flower Show because it just felt like it was a lovely thing to do. It was a sunny afternoon. Yeah. And I just thought, actually, do you know what? You know, normally we'd be potentially going there or out and about with friends. Let's, let's try and do it virtually in, in, in kind of a lockdown way. And the BBC coverage has been refreshing. I've loved the fact that for the daytime coverage, they've been concentrating on the smaller gardens, which is realistically what lots and lots of people throughout the UK have. So it's been lovely to view it that way. Um, and I'm thrilled that floristry and floral art has had its flag waved all week with my the stuff that we've all been doing. And I was yeah. delighted to be on their BBC daytime coverage each day. And yeah. of course, the Netflix Big Flower Fight launched on Monday. So Abs I've been busy with that as well. Fantastic. You're not going to have time for us anymore, Simon. You're just going to get oh, too, too big and grand. We'll make the most of you while we have you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Take Enjoy care. the rest of your day. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Bye. Now, I was very careful, Instagram. Did you see what I did there? I very carefully moved my finger to where it just said, remove Simon, not stop Instagram, <laughs> which is what I did last time. <laughs> I've just seen Lorraine Pascal gave me a wave. Hello, lovely one. How are you? 
I hope you're surviving and enjoying all my flowers here. Got lots of lots of floral goodness to talk about. Now, coming back to flowers and books, this was um, something I, I was checking on my roses because I've got lots of roses going on in the garden, which I just love. And some of them are scented and some of them are unscented. And a lot of you have asked about flower names and things like that. So I've been going out and just trying to uh, remember exactly what I planted where so I can share it with you. And I came across this book in my bookshelves, which is the David Austin. It's called The English Roses, and it's a lovely book. And I remember, um, this is actually the second copy, and I thought, why have I got two copies in my bookshelf? And I opened it up, and I found that there was an inscription in there to my father, believe it or not. So somebody who was an admiral in the Navy gave him a book of pink roses, and I, and I opened it up, and I thought... Why is someone giving my dad that? I mean, I know he loves plants, but it's just an unusual present, isn't it, to give to, to, to a man? Maybe, maybe not. Um, anyway, it says here, Rear Admiral David Bawtry, CB, blah, 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 Deputy Lieutenant of Hampshire, presented as a token of the gratitude of Hampshire Health, Safety and Environmental Group in recognition of your patronage of the conference, the management of health, safety and the environment, a culture for common sense. And that was in October 2008. Isn't that lovely? Do you know, I think what is really special about books, I mean, I love print, as you know. I mean, I've written 36 or so books over the years. And print, for me, is always the real deal. I think there is... You have to put so much care and attention into print. You know, online is great, but online, you know, if it doesn't quite work or it's not quite right, you just go behind the scenes and change it. So you can be a little bit more slapdash. Whereas when something's printed, when you've committed it, that moment when you're standing by the printing presses, as you know, as we do with the magazine, and you go press that button, it's going to print. Or they call it, it's gone to bed. It's gone, you know, you can't do anything more. If you've made a mistake, then it's there forevermore for everyone to see. So you need to be really sure to be accurate so that means that evidence-based information is really important because you can't just update it and change it. You know, you've got to really stand by what you say and what you do. And it, you can also personalise it and you can keep it. So, you know, things like this, which, you know, for me as, as my father's daughter, you know, I came back and I found it and I was immediately taken to a moment in time. So what it kind of reminded me of something which I've got. Actually, I've just left it over here. So bear with me one second. Oops, try not to knock my, um, knock my phone stand over. I did say that I had found some treats in my studio when I was there yesterday. Yesterday? Yes, yesterday. Uh, well, I was doing my live on Wednesday. And I found not only some of the archive issues of the magazine that we're going to be bundling up and putting onto the Lizard Wellbeing website, but I also found a few boxes of the limited edition yearbook two. And these are really special, and I was just beyond thrilled to find them because, as you probably know, I've had these lovelies down on the farm for a while and you see, you can see my botanicals, my love of botanicals because they shine through the covers of my books. So this is yearbook one, which was the first one that I ever did, and then yearbook two, which was the follow one. They make a lovely set um, and I sign them here from the farm and, and send them out and they're, they're full of seasonal recipes. So we've got spring, summer, autumn, winter, lots of floral stuff, craft stuff, beauty, health, well-being. It's, they're, they're really lovely. But when we did these... We also did, we printed just 200 of a limited edition version. And all of the first um, year but ones have gone. I mean, they, they sold out very quickly. So we don't have any of the limited edition year but ones anymore. They're really, you know, quite collectible at the moment. Um, but we do have, I thought we'd sold out of the limited edition yearbook twos, which is this one. And the reason I wanted to share it with you today is because it's Floral Friday. And I don't know whether you can see, but it's almost got a fabric linen cover that makes it special. It's got foil embossing here um, and on the spine as well. And then to personalise it, and it says on here limited edition. Um, what I do is each one comes with a book plate, which I then inscribe with up to 15 words of your choice. So if you want to send a message to somebody special or send a message to yourself, a little reminder to do something. I wrote one this morning, actually, which I think was laugh every day, love a lot and live life to the full or something. I can't remember exactly what it said, but it was a lovely message. Um, and then I sign them and I send them out. So what I did 
was I put every copy that I could find, literally every last copy of these, in the back of the car and brought them back to the farm. So I have got them here and Amy has put them on the website. <laughs> I forget exactly how many we've got, but we only ever printed 200. So I'm really sorry the the yearbook one limited edition did go um, a while ago, but I have found these. So I just wanted to share that with you because it just reminded me how special books are and how how they last. You know, the longevity of them. As I say, you know, finding this one that was given to my father in 2008 and finding that message in it and just thinking back to his time when he was working um, he was working with the government, doing a lot of environmental planning and all that kind of thing after he left the Navy. So anyway, it was just, just a personal thing. I wanted to share that with you and put it out there. Now, a couple of other things that I wanted to share is you may remember our lovely friends at Travel Wrap. So this is the amazing Scottish cashmere company. And they do those beautiful travel wraps and they're giving us a 10% discount, which is lovely. So we, we really enjoy that. But something else that they're doing every week is they are sending a virtual hug to a care worker or a healthcare hero and you can nominate somebody for this so all you need to do is go onto their website which is the travelwrapcompany.com uh, and if you go there and you'll see they're using I think the hashtag virtual hug and there's a little form you just fill it in and you say who you'd like to nominate to receive one of their really beautiful thick Scottish cashmere handwoven um, travel wraps they are absolutely beautiful it's another great British brand which I'm really pleased to support we I actually went and did a photo shoot with them a few years ago which is on the Liz Our Wellbeing website so if you want to take a look at that this weekend um, and be transported to Scotland and see how they make them and why they're different why their cashmere is so very special and I've got a number of them I've collected them you know I, I think I've shared with this before you know for, for birthdays and for Christmas and things if you know somebody wants to give me something special somebody in the family then you know I've always said well you know if you club together maybe you can get me a travel wrap because I do love them and they are really brilliant and they also can monogram your initials um, oh somebody saying here about Waitrose there were none in Waitrose none of my magazines how very dare they they did have them so they've either sold really quickly which I guess is possible as people you know buy more magazines at the moment to kind of transport themselves to a little bit of calm and happiness so the stockists for the magazines tend to be well the ones that are open at the moment obviously not everywhere is open but Waitrose definitely should have Marks and Spencers are usually very good most Sainsbury's will have them and also some Tesco's so I hope you find it but if not it's cheaper and easier to subscribe so you can still get for the moment 30% off your magazine subscriptions and you just need to go to the section of the magazine um, not the magazine sorry the website where it says there's a little button at the top it says buy the magazine in a little pink box and if you click on that you get through to a company called Warner's and Warner's are our magazine subscription service and they're really good. They're much better than the last lot. I won't name the last lot last year, but oh, they were so shockingly bad. So anyway, so we got rid of them and we're now with a great company called Warner's and they're doing an amazing job for us and they've worked all the way through the lockdown. I don't know if you're watching anybody from Warner's, but big thank you. You've made a lot of people very happy by um, them being able to get their magazine subscription. So if you want to subscribe and get every copy, so that's six copies a year, you get 30% off. And this is the first one that you'll get. Uh, this is the subscriber cover. You always get a different cover when you subscribe. Um, but otherwise, hopefully, if you are out doing your essential shopping this weekend, then you might be able to find it in those stockists. So thank you to all those working in stores who are um, restocking the shelves with it. Um, Bear Moo says they're in Marks and Spencers. I bought one and I'm looking forward to reading it. Excellent. Well, do let me know what you think because, you know, these chats are often two way and I, I love to know what you like, what you like to see more of. Lots of you seem to be enjoying my makeup tutorials. Oh gosh, don't look at me too hard today. I was um, a bit of a bit of a rush this morning, so I just you know shoved some slap on just to make me look a bit more presentable. <laughs> but I have now done two full makeup tutorials or how tos, whatever you want to call them, um, and you will find those on the Our Wellbeing website. I did load them onto Facebook and also to Instagram TV, but actually it may be easier to go to YouTube. Those of you who don't know, we do now have the Liz Our Wellbeing YouTube channel, and these chats also get loaded onto YouTube. And lots of you actually have been saying that you have been watching 
on YouTube. And you can do this. You can either subscribe to the Liz Our Wellbeing YouTube channel, and that gives you, you know, access to all our films, including some really old ones, which are a bit funny to watch now. But anyway, there's, there's quite a lot of old historic ones. And then there's all my lockdown lives. And then there's exercise videos that I've been doing with Michael Gary and all that kind of stuff. So welcome to my world on YouTube. Um, or something that I discovered, and I mean, you may know all about this anyway, but it's about mirroring. Do you know about this? If you've got an Apple TV and an iPhone, you can mirror whatever is on your phone or your iPad to your TV. So you don't have to kind of, you know, scrunch up on your phone to watch a little screen. You can mirror it really simply. I mean, don't ask me how it works, but anyway, it kind of just transmits between the television and the phone. You are, you obviously tell that I'm not a technical person. I have a lovely digital and technical team who can sort it out. And of course, my 10 year old is much better able to sort out my mirroring um, on, uh, on the TV than I am. But anyway, that's, I just throw that out there because I think these days we're all becoming more tech savvy aren't we we're all you know possibly zooming or house partying or whatever it is or watching stuff on youtube when perhaps we've never done that before so uh really interesting bunny hair saying love your live cooking demos and chit chat brilliant so um e sorry celia saying casting is what it's called isn't it i don't know what you're talking about there. i've missed out on that one yes live demo live kitchen demos and chit chat i'm going to be in my kitchen tomorrow um, tomorrow I'm really looking forward to, I do hope you can join me tomorrow, either live or, uh, or catch up afterwards, because I'm going to be talking to a lady who I met probably about a year ago uh, called Henrietta, who started a company called The Rare Tea Company. And we're going to be talking about tea. I know we've talked a lot about coffee recently. As you know, I love my cup of coffee and I love the guys at New Ground Coffee. Give them another shout out. These are the guys who set up this sustainable business uh, all about social impact and they retrain prisoners ex-offenders and give them um, a job to come out to skills training so they are far far less likely to reoffend and become active contributors in society so newgroundcoffee.com if you want to go and have a look there use liz loves and you get 20 percent off all their lovely coffees absolutely delicious so that's been really nice to explore and tomorrow i thought it would be um the time to have a cup of tea and to talk to Henrietta about amazing teas and we're also going to be talking environment we're going to be talking about plastic in tea did you know that plastic most tea bags contain plastic particles and then one of the problems with that is that when you soak your plastic tea bag and it's not actually the tea bag it's usually the, the gum the resin around the tea bag that has these plastic um, compounds in them when you soak it in hot water which you do obviously to make your cup of tea you are releasing these microscopic particles of plastics far more so than perhaps in any other way and then of course you're drinking it so if you want to know more about that we wrote about this for Liz our well-being and Amy I think you're probably doing um, uh, a little link for Facebook and if you want to uh, head to lizardwellbeing.com after this and have a look if you just google not google if you just put in your search engine um, on lizard wellbeing if you just put in plastic tea bags uh, it, it'll come up it's really yeah rose here saying on instagram i'm loving my loose tea yeah you know loose tea is the way to go you know let's go back let's take a step back to how we used to make tea and maybe we've all got a little bit more time now maybe we're at home maybe we can have our selection of loose teas maybe we can try different things so i'm really looking forward to talking to henrietta henrietta also has a really interesting menopause story to share really interesting talking of which did you hear if anybody was uh, listening to radio 4 this morning as i was and i was listening to it deliberately waiting for this and she was at the very beginning of woman's hour so if you go on to catch up on Woman's Hour, you don't have to play the whole thing. You can just listen to the very, very beginning. Dr. Louise Newsom, our dear, lovely Dr. Louise Newsom, was talking to Jenny Murray, Dame Jenny Murray. Stand up and say that, Dame Jenny Murray. She's certainly the, somebody that you want to stand up to when she enters the room because she's quite a tour de force. She had an amazing 10 minutes of the programme at the beginning of Woman's Hour talking about the research that they're now doing, showing the potential protective benefits for oestrogen with COVID. So you need to listen to this. It's, it's absolutely fascinating. And the research is in its infancy, but the early studies are just extraordinary. 
showing how women who have estrogen, either because they're younger women and they've got periods or they're taking a contraceptive pill or they're older and they're taking HRT, they're replacing their estrogen, um, are seemingly better protected when it comes to critical care for COVID. So fascinating. And there are studies now going on in America, which I think I've mentioned before, where they've actually been giving men estrogen patches when they've been in um, kind of critical care in hospital with COVID. So really interesting to see how that's going. And if you're not already signed up to the COVID app tracker, this is something that Professor Tim Spector has been working on. I know that Dr. Newsom has worked with him and they've put some new questions on the app. So if you haven't done it for a while, do please download it and fill it in because it's asking things like, are you on HRT? You know, do you take the contraceptive pill? Um, you know, your age and all of those kind of hormone related questions that will help them to build a picture to see all these different factors that could help protect us. And to be honest, I didn't realize that estrogen has such a role to do with our immune system. I mean, is there nothing that estrogen can't do? You know, we know it affects our mood and our brain and help with anxiety. We know it helps our joints for mobility. We know it helps our hearing for tinnitus. We know that it helps, you know, our pelvic regions for UTIs and all of that. I mean, anyway, I'm not going there, okay? I know that you're, you, you know what I'm like once I start talking about all of that, but I was just so delighted. I actually sent Louise a little message afterwards saying, well done you, you were just great so if you haven't listened to that i'm sure it will be on bbc catch up um, on the woman's hour um, just go online and search radio for woman's hour i'm sure it's there absolutely brilliant susan i've just received my magazine bundle liz that's my afternoon reading oh i'm so thrilled uh, jane spink how are you finding lenzetto yeah i'm really enjoying it so lenzetto is the new spray form of estrogen I've talked about this before. I use a lot of estrogen gel. I use about six pumps. So it takes a lot of rubbing in every night. Uh, so I was really pleased to try the new spray, which I know is being rolled out across the NHS. And so it may not be available in your area just yet, but hopefully it's coming. The spray is really easy and uh, it doesn't need rubbing in because it dries really quickly. I just use three little squirts. And yeah, I really like it. What I don't like, of course, is the leaflet that comes with it because it's still got the old, outdated, incorrect information in the leaflet. So the leaflet still says that the transdermal estrogen is going to cause blood clots and be bad for migraine and have a thrombosis and stroke risk and all of that, which of course, as we all here now know, it does not. So the leaflet, although the product is new, the leaflet is still old and incorrect. Apart from that, the other spray is great. Uh, so that's it for me. Uh, I need to switch off now because I've been here for more than half an hour. I was on time this morning. I hope to be on time tomorrow. Hope you'll join me. Put the kettle on tomorrow. Uh, make a cup of tea. It'll probably have to be loose leaf tea, maybe, or maybe afterwards i don't know let's talk to henrietta and find out if you're not signed up to the newsletter by the way the liz our well-being newsletter please sign up now before four o'clock four o'clock is when amy pushes the button for it to go live and sends it out to everybody so if you want it if you're not yet signed up you've got a few hours if you're listening to be live um, otherwise if it's afterwards don't worry you'll get next week's but um, but if you'd like this week's this afternoon then do please make sure that you're signed up anyway sending you lots of love been lovely to um to have you here with me love to be back home i'm looking forward to tomorrow's chat from the kitchen and finding out so much more about so much stuff good stuff lots of love bye for now bye bye